Okay. Here with Kate Penry, head basketball coach of Mark Hall, team winner 74 to 67 over Wakefield Warriors. Coach, it was a nice over to your preps.com basketball class at Virginia Wesleyan College. Uh, what did you guys want to accomplish against this Wakefield team that uh, plays really hard and has been one of the better teams in the state by that? Oh, we wanted to come in and actually play Kate Penry basketball, and I think we, you know, we, we started out on a good run. We played good team ball in the first uh, five, six minutes of the first quarter, and then we broke down and started doing things individually. Um, and they're a competitive team. They stuck with it. They're well disciplined. They remind me of a of a more athletic Keller. And a lot of credit to Norm Hassel and what he's done with his program up there. But um, you know, with some leadership, Dave George showed up as he's been consistent. You know, averaging 22 a game all year, and the league um, has been a facilitator for us. So I switched Isaiah off of the point, and so he can kind of be a decoy. And, Malik kind of did his thing along with uh, Dijon. Mm -hmm. Good backcourt match in this one for you guys. Malik Martin, Isaiah James, as you mentioned, Alan Treacle and Will Parks for them. And of course, you can also throw in that time. Oh, who's a really good defender for you. But right. Dijon Rucker, what's the difference in this game in the front court? He gets 20 and 10, shoots 50% from the field as a sophomore. He's got an incredibly high ceiling. Another one of the high ceiling prospects for you guys at Cape Henry, is he not? Oh, absolutely. I mean, right now, he holds six offers right now. I just try to. You know, keep him humble, uh, make sure that we continue to work on his footwork, flexibility, uh, agility. Uh, we got to work on his, you know, his, his, his vertical as well. He has a nice soft touch, you know, um, a little slow sometimes getting down the floor, but, you know, he plays a lot of minutes, and I think, you know, a lot of guys get tired of playing the whole game, but, you know, we don't really have that much depth at the bench position, so he has to play. Well, knowing Wakefield's a full court team, they want to get up and down and run as they've done this year with the Battle Fields and other teams that they've played. But Tom McCoy has just seen the playoffs. I thought that was key that Ruggs was able to get through the game conditioning wise, which I think is conditioning to prove for you guys, A. And B, since it came over you guys, I think he's that ideal stretch four type of guy, which college is recruiting now. Absolutely. It reminds me of uh, Villanova. He can shoot the ball, you know, the whole nine. Chris Jenkins is Chris Jenkins is the hands down. You know, I'm, I'm hoping that he grows a couple more inches in the next couple of years. But as you, you know, alluded to a second ago, he has lost the weight. Uh, and he has been getting better, but he can get better. He has a higher ceiling than what he's been playing at right now. The last two for you guys, you guys have played a tough schedule, which is the norm for Cape Henry basketball. So you've become accustomed over the years. What have you liked about this one? What have you said? We've got to improve on this in order to get to what we want to get to. We have to play team ball. We have to have uh, more leadership in terms of. Our, our senior leadership. You know, we have leadership in other aspects, but you know, for these guys that are leaving school, you know, uh, this is their last time. I told them the basketball season is only four months. You know, and I kind of remind them. I remind them again the today that there's only a month and a half of that left um, of your high school. What legacy do you leave on the floor? So. Uh, I would say, you know, some, some leadership and just stay hungry the whole time. You know, I know some guys kind of break down and want to do things individually because of the points and listening to the crowd, but we got to just stay focused and play Cape Henry basketball. Final one, you lose the end of Norfolk Academy. People probably wrote you off at that point, but you then get wins over, and good wins over Norfolk Collegiate, Walsingham, Greenbrier uh, Christian. Today against a Wakefield team that's won the public or private teams in the state. Uh, what's this victory do for you guys moving forward? I'm telling you guys, one game at a time. I mean, there's no excuse for losing to uh, Norfolk Academy. That was a team fault. Um, you know, we didn't have certain players play in the game, but regardless of played, that was players played, and I still should have won the game. Um, we put it behind us. Um, again, it's just one game at a time for us until we get to what we want. We have our conference still to play, and then we look forward to the TCI's conference and moving on to state stuff. Well, non-conference for today, the Virginia Preps Classic for Mark Paul. Thanks for your time. Thanks, bud. Appreciate it. Thank you, man.